All right, can everybody hear me? All right, so sudden cardiac death is defined as a natural death that occurs one hour after the onset of cardiopathic symptoms. Now, it accounts for 12% of all natural deaths in the United States, killing about 300,000 every year. And sudden cardiac death is, of course, sudden, so there's really no precise way to predict a fatal episode. However, if we look at the electrocardiograms of, of patients, we can see that alterations in the T wave has been a predictor for sudden cardiac death. Now, what type of alterations, particularly if we increase the heart rate of the heart, uh, we see these um, alternances appear at the T wave, and this is referred to as T wave alternance. Interestingly, other cardiac properties also alternate. Uh, for example, the calcium dynamics alternate in the heart. Uh, so the purpose of our lab is to try to understand the molecular mechanism of how these alternances are generated in order to develop clinical applications that will allow the prediction of sudden cardiac death. So what does our lab look like on a daily basis? So what we do is we take an actual beating heart, don't worry, it's a mouse heart, and we load it with a, a, a sensitive dye that is sensitive to a cardiac property, for example, calcium. And then we use this technique, and not to brag, but we are the only lab that can do this because we designed this technique uh, that measures a cardiac property. And then we can actually see uh, the structure of, we can look at the surface structures um, also, and also monitor what's going on in the cellular level. So here's a typical phloem experiment where we can monitor the calcium dynamics. So the different colors represent the different um, properties of the heart, so different cardiac properties. Uh, for example, here in this one, it's calcium. So the different um, fluorescence depends on the dye that's in the tissue, and then depending on the fluorescence, the fluorescence goes up, that means calcium is going up. The fluorescence come down, comes down, that means calcium is going down. So then we're able to track the, cal the calcium dynamics and see these waves here. And so the, our phloem apparatus is a very versatile apparatus that can allow us to monitor key cardiac properties, for example, calcium, also electrical signaling. And we hope to be able to save lives with this new phloem apparatus that can help us understand the alternances and consequently help predict sudden cardiac death. Thank you.